Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Akeem Lewanson, and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, what happens next after the Will Smith Chris Rock fiasco? The Batman's Joker might appear on the small screen, and the Oscars give the fans the power to vote. Let's drop it. Now, looks like everybody hits Chris. You saw it even if you didn't watch the Oscars. Will Smith took a shot at Chris Rock after Chris Rock took a shot at his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Now, a quick recap of what went down. Chris made mention of his love for Jada before saying he's looking forward to seeing her in G.I. Jane 2. Now, this was a reference to her haircut, which is reminiscent of the one Demi Moore sported in the 1997 film G.I. Jane. Now, while clearly a very dated joke and a tad bit insensitive given Jada's struggles with alopecia, some might consider Will Smith's actions a tad bit over the top. But then again, this isn't the first time Chris has gone after Will's wife. Now, back when he was hosting the 2016 Oscars, Chris took a few jabs at Jada during his monologue. So maybe Will just wasn't over Chris making fun of his wife on Hollywood's biggest stage. Shopping got mad and Jada went mad and Will went mad. Everybody went mad. Jada says she's not coming. Jada's gonna boycott the Oscars. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. <laughs> I wasn't invited. <laughs> But the question is this, what happens now? Now, the Academy posted a tweet disavowing violence in any form, but internet denizens were quick to point out that by awarding Will Smith with an Oscar, they are in fact kind of sort of, you know, rewarding the slap heard around the world. But what about Chris Rock, his face? According to a statement given to ABC News, the LAPD said they're aware of the incident and Chris Rock will not be filing a police report which, you know, honestly isn't a shocker. I mean, come on now. But according to that very statement, if the assaulted party, Chris, does wish to pursue charges at a later date, then the LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report. Now, while Will Smith is likely contemplating what might happen in the days to come, he was literally getting jiggy with it at the Vanity Fair after party, believe it or not. Now, according to Variety, Will showed up to the after party with an entourage and immediately hit the dance floor where the DJ was spinning Big Willie's greatest 90s hits. Now, Chris Rock also attended an annual bash held by a Hollywood socialite, according to page six, appearing to be unfazed by the incident. I mean, he he could take a hit, clearly. He, he took that slap. And now we know, thanks to The Hollywood Reporter, that the officers of the Academy, which includes President David Rubin and CEO Don Hudson, are gathering for an emergency call about the Will Smith incident. Now, according to THR, some sanctions are likely to occur, such as suspending Will Smith's Academy membership, but not revoking his Best Actor award. Now, we'll have to wait and see what type of disciplinary action he might face in the days to come. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I really, I, I don't get this entire ordeal, to be honest with you. you. know, He got in one little fight and the Academy got scared and said, we don't condone violence, especially when it's on air. It's a, see what I did, Fresh Prince, song reference. Anyways, all jokes aside, y'all, I personally have a hard time believing what we saw was a real moment, to be quite honest with you. While, while he obviously did slap Chris Rock and, and Chris was visibly shaken by it, part of me wants to believe that these two actors, keep that in mind, actors, these two actors orchestrated this to create a viral moment, you know? I mean, what are we all talking about? We're talking about the slap, you know? But you know what, we won't know the truth until we start to see either Will or Chris address the ordeal in potential interviews that you know they'll be doing soon, be it Chris on something like The Breakfast Club or Will on his wife's Facebook talk show. But you know what, I would love to know what you all think about the slap. Slap a like on this video, Big Willie style, and, and leave a comment down below. I wanna know your thoughts. Now, speaking of slaps, though, the character that clearly got slapped a few times with the ugly stick, the Joker, might return in a future Arkham series. Now, speaking with Variety, director Matt Reeves spoke about the places we might see Barry Keown's Joker pop up next. Now, he said, quote, there's stuff I'm very interested in doing in an Arkham space, potentially for HBO Max. There are things we've talked about there, so it's very possible. It also isn't impossible that there is some story that comes back where Joker comes into our world. Ooh, 
yummy, yummy. Yeah, I think we all can agree that seeing Reeves take on uh, the Joker in any capacity is more than welcomed. And finally, in the DC Universe today, Zack Snyder's Justice League won most cheer-worthy moment in the Oscars Twitter Fan Favorite Award. Yeah, now this was where the fans voted for their favorite moments, giving Snyder's four hour long epic superhero flick the big dub. Now shout out to the fans and the Oscars for another ceremony that gets my slap of approval. Yeah, who slaps like that? Really? that you saw the way he slapped at me? That was a weird slap, man. Anyways, that about does it for your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Thank you so much for watching. Now that you're all caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode, giving you a better look at the deleted scene from The Batman. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, keep slapping IGN. Wait, that sounds weird. Watch it. Just keep watching us. Don't slap, please. How could you slap?